Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars. Um, as you may know, if you've been watching my Facebook page, I'm very excited about my new straps that come in. SMJ is the name. Ooh. SMJ. Uh, stands for Strap for Midland Junction. If you don't know about them, uh, maybe go to my blog on my website. I'll put some links below. It'll explain the whole background about my parents, the work they've been doing on a, an old stretch of railway line for the last 10 years. Um, dedicating their lives to sort of preserving uh, wildlife um, and, and trying to encourage butterflies and moths. The logo, the tagline for behind SMJ, which stands for Stratford Midland Junction, which is the stretch of line that, that, that uh, they've, they've, they've been working on, that they now own. Um, support your guitar, protect your wildlife. That's the general uh, ethos. Uh, purchase of the straps helps raise awareness of and contributes to butterfly conservation. So the idea being is a pound from every strap gets donated to butterfly conservation. I want to sell them directly to my customers, but also I want you to speak to your local shop, see if you can get your local shop to buy them. Um, that's what I'd really like to happen. Um, I will be happy to send these to your local shop, uh, get them to sell them too, and a pound for every sale will still go to Butterfly Conservation. So um, it's something that I just feel really proud to have done. And uh, so let me just show you uh, four different colours. So if I just do this, they're all absolutely beautiful. I'm really, really, really chuffed. Everything is that the highest quality, really strong cotton um, uh, stitch. I've gone for the best quality of everything that I could find. Um, basically, this is um, uh, this is this is aged leather. Even the leather, I was really picky about what kind of leather because I wanted to have a an aged brass buckle here. So rather than going making it all look really new and bright and pristine, I wanted it to kind of look a bit old and slightly kind of rustic. Um, so it will go with any kind of uh, cl you know, classic kind of instrument, um, whether it be a, an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar. Look, cool, eh? Looks really nice. Looks, they look nice with everything. Um, so here we go. Each strap is named after a butterfly. In fact, I will, um, just so I don't completely make a fool of myself, I will look at my own blog that I did today and um, because I wanted to just sort of tie up the colourings and make sure each one represented a, 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 a butterfly. In my classic style today, I spent an entire um, morning doing a blog, which I then managed to delete because I was using a new piece of software. And um, so I will uh, make sure I give you. Okay, so this first one in my hand, this one is the peacock. Okay, if you click on the links, you'll see uh, all about that particular one and the, the, the butterfly it, it helps represent. Um, then the next one we have is Ruby Tiger. Okay, so that's the Ruby Tiger, that's a moth that exists, the Ruby Tiger moth. And you'll see the Ruby Tiger moth has these kind of slightly pinkish tints to it. Um, in fact, quite very similar. So that's the Ruby Tiger. Um, okay, and then this is the Red Admiral, I know that as well. Red Admiral, which has black, white and red in it. And then we have the Adonis Blue, I think it's called. Adonis Blue. And that's the Adonis Blue, so Adonis Blue, Red Admiral, Ruby, what's it called? That's the one that was, Ruby Tiger, Ruby Tiger Moth. And that's your peacock. How cool is that? Um, each one with aged brass uh, adjustments um, and lovely aged leather ends, and uh, that end's got the SM, but both both ends have got the SMJ. I don't know if you can see that on there, the SMJ logo, and it's got a nice little the little butterfly thing that you can't really see it. It's so small, but it looks so cool. It's really cute. I think you can just about see it there. There you go, look, little butterfly flying around above the SMJ logo. Look, there you go, there you go, awesome. Yeah, so dead shop with that. Uh, they all come in little packet like this. So it's really nicely uh, presented. Okay, that's the first bit of news, SMJ straps. Then, the next bit of news, where's my leather straps gone, my Warsaw straps? I had one here a minute ago, it doesn't matter, I don't have to have it to hand. Um, yeah, really exciting bit of news is, um, you might know I've been doing the Warsaw uh, uh, straps, uh, working with a man in um, uh, in, in in Warsaw, uh, who again, you know, look at previous blogs, 
uh, or go to guitarstraps.co.uk. If you go to guitarstraps.co.uk, I've created a little website there, you can learn about them. You can watch a video of this unbelievably talented man who normally uh, is, is making um, saddles, uh, you know, 5,000 pound handmade saddles. They really are just, the skill that goes into these saddles is quite remarkable. And uh, we teamed up to produce just the highest possible quality leather straps. It's, um, so it's nearly a year since we started that project. It was last December when we started. And it's just been just the most wonderful, again, just a really positive experience. Uh, I'm now donating money from every uh, Warsaw strap as well, um, using SMJ as it's kind of like, uh, with, you know, Warsaw working with SMJ to, to help, uh, you know, a positive cause. So we're donating a pound from every strap as well. Just every little counts, doesn't it? Every little adds up. Um, but the thing I want to tell you is, um, Gordon Smith guitars have asked me to design a couple of straps for them. So that's amazing, you know. So Gordon Smith, because clearly the, the, the two work together hand in hand. The best guitar straps in the country you're going to find and the best handmade guitars you're going to find in the country teaming up to produce something really, really special. So uh, I'm not quite sure what the plans are for Gordon Smith um, Possibly that they'll be selling the Gordon Smith straps, but um, you know, might be sort of special gifts for certain clients and that kind of thing. I'm not quite sure what that. You know, you'd have to speak to them about what what uh, how to get your hands on. Um, but I I, I think that um, Doug at Gordon Smith will be happy for you to speak to me. If you want a Gordon Smith strap, well, they're not done yet because I'm just in the process of designing them. Uh, I want to come up with something special for him. Um, as you know, I sell Gordon Smith guitars and it's a real honor and a privilege to uh, be involved with Gordon Smith much more directly in, in helping them with their straps. Um, I'll be able to supply Gordon Smith straps to my customers as well. So if you buy a Gordon Smith guitar from me, you'll be able to buy a... Um, but the nice thing for me is just the fact that if we can get the Gordon Smith um, you know, it's just a lovely thing to be associated, isn't it? It's just a great team concept. Uh, so I'm really excited about it. So there you go. That, that, that's that. Um, Gordon Smith Guitars will be providing their customers straps made by Warsaw. How cool. All right, and that, that's that then. Um, that's it. I'm, I'm, that's, that's my little thing to tell you about straps. It's all about straps today. I'm um, sorry there were no guitars. Um, I'm going to show you a guitar because talk, we've been talking about Gordon Smith. I've just got to show you. I might look, look at the boxes, the, all these deliveries that have come in today. Um, but I want to show you. Oh, look, let's look at this loud and it's just come in. Look at that. Incredible. Um, ooh, and there's my wavelength first. No, but the one I want to show you. Let me just look at that. This. This is potentially, so far, I believe this is my favourite ever, I know I keep saying this, but this is my favourite ever Gordon Smith guitar. Um, you can get your Strat sounds, you've got a coil tap for your humbucker, it incorporates the semi-hollow, it's everything that I wanted. And the uh, design here, I basically found a picture on Instagram of a guitar and I just sent it to Doug and said, look Doug, I love the look of this guitar. Could you please just design me something uh, similar to that? And that's what they did. So I'm constantly getting really, here you go, look. I have, I don't know if I've even put that on my website yet. It's so naughty. Um, and the old uh, FGNs, really exciting. Expect a, a, uh, I'll be doing a, um, a video on the, uh, uh, J standard versus the um, the other one, the one I did the other day. So, oh, and there's all my, oh my goodness, look, look, there's a Gretsch. That is an incredibly rare Gretsch. That's a prototype. There's so much going on all the time, I just don't have a time to, uh... oh look, look at these. A couple of vintage guitars that have just come in, 299, and they're absolutely incredible. Expect a video on those soon as well. Really extraordinary. Okay, 
that's it. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks very much for watching and uh, I'll, I'll see you again soon. Bye, bye.